so many of you been asking how our little Tamworth piglets are doing. I'm happy to report they're both doing awesome. They're growing just like they're supposed to, which is good. And they've been having a blast out here playing today. It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. It's quite windy, but it's about 72 degrees. It's supposed to be sunny all day. I have a small project I'm gonna work on today. First, I need to run up to the garage. I'll get the tractor and I'll meet you guys way, way out back on our property, about as far back as you can go. This is what we're after. Martin Manufacturing Smidley Feeders. It's a pig feeder that we picked up a couple years ago when we got our very first, no, no, like four years ago when we got our very first red wattle pigs. Idle River Farms over on the west side of Michigan. We were getting ready to leave and they're like, hey, you want, you want this thing for 15 bucks? And we were like, uh, I don't know, we only got $10 left. And they're like, yours. And they threw it in the back of my truck. We've done nothing with it. We just basically brought it home and just stuck it way back there on the fence row. Now that we have pigs again, I've been a big fan lately of automating things. Like, what can I automate so that I don't have to do something every day over and over and over? Feeding pigs is one of them. Feeding chickens is another. Um, watering chickens, you know, you, so many things that like you have to do every day on a homestead. And the less of that I have to do, the better. So. There's ants covering everything. It's a huge giant mouse nest over here. Before we start seeing if this thing's even gonna function, there's some type of a mechanism down here that stops or allows the food to drop down into the little bins. I don't know how that works, it might be broken. But before we do anything, we're gonna clean this thing up. Get rid of all these ants, get rid of the mouse nest, we'll get the power washer out. We'll try to clean this thing off, but I don't wanna remove I don't really want to remove a lot of the paint because I think it looks cool, so. So everything cleaned up quite well. The inside came really, really clean. The inside actually wasn't that bad, other than this part down here where the mouse nests were. I, um, man, these little ants are everywhere still. And they bite. <laughs> Die. Anyways, the food that's going into this is going into our pigs. And our pigs are also ultimately food for us. So I wanted to make sure it was really, really super clean. The power washer did an awesome job. I ran to Lowe's. I got some two by eights treated wood that's going to become the new bottom. I'm going to basically remove a lot of this metal at the bottom that's no longer used because the wood is missing and basically wrap the entire bottom in treated two by eight because this is gonna sit on the ground and I don't want it to rot, so. That is the next step. I'm gonna get my grinder out. We'll remove some of this metal.
I'm pretty sure at the beginning of this video I said we were gonna work on a quick, easy, simple project today. <laughs> and now it's seven hours later. Although I did take time off to go to a hardware store to get this two by eight treated boards. The five quarter duck boards that are down here in the bottom. I already had those, they were out in the corn crib in the barn and I made dinner. So a couple hour break in between. This thing is heavy. <laughs> that was probably one of the most challenging parts about the entire thing was just how heavy this thing is. I mean, it's, it's even heavier now than it was because of all this treated wood, which is heavy. All the little flaps, they seem to work really good. I still want to put a piece right down in here. Um, this is kind of like the overflow. So like when they get food, if they drop some, it's gonna land right here. So it's not going to waste, but there's some gaps in it. So I'll probably cut one more piece and put it in there to fill that out. And then I think we're pretty close to being done. I have been thinking, about painting it. I know I would, in the beginning I was talking about like the cool like words and stuff that are on it and how vintage it looks. But maybe someday we'll paint this thing. But I think it would look pretty cute, like red or something, you know, with like white here where the true where the the tin pieces are. I keep looking at things and thinking, oh, I'll just cut a little piece of trim and put a little piece of trim here or a little piece of trim in the back. But I gotta call it done. <laughs> it's, it's approaching eight o'clock now, 8 p.m. and I still have all my tools and everything to put away. I think it turned out really cute. It, um, it should be fully functional. I tested the little flappers and I figured out what they're for. And in the back of this bin, there's a little, piece that moves and it's attached to a wire rack that goes up on the inside and it's designed so that when the pig hits that with his nose or her nose it moves that rack so if there's food in there that's kind of stuck it'll it'll loosen that and make it slide down so i have to figure out how to move it now <laughs> i think i'll i think i'll probably get the pallet forks for my tractor slide it slide it up on the pallet forks and then I can bring it back in the pig pen or I don't know I'll figure out something but I need to get some food for it too and I think ultimately the challenge is going to be how do I get them to to eat from it how do I train them that they need to come up here and put their nose on here and lift this to get food out of there so if you know leave me a, a comment down below and tell me what the trick is I was thinking Maybe put a little stick or something on there. And they'll just get hungry and eventually walk over there and realize, hey, look, there's food right here. So weight wise, it's super heavy. So I'm hoping that as the pigs get bigger, they don't just knock this thing over. If they do, I can always put in some T-posts or something, but I think it turned out cool. Thanks for coming along with me today and we will see you guys on the next video.